Welcome everyone to another chapter of the This Is Bob Proctor recording. Uh, just give me a second, I forgot to put my um, microphone on, but I'm going to do that as I talk to you. Today's chapter is uh, continuing on with our theme of attitude. And in this reading, Bob shares an excellent statement of thinking, a thought process that when you find yourself in a situation where um, you're looking for the good in it, always think that there is not only good in it, but also a better way. So that is what we're going to talk about today on this chapter. I think you'll be able to hear me a little bit. My microphone in, just keeping it real, you know. Um, so let's get straight into it today. And you tell me what you think of this chapter as we go through. If you're watching live, let me know. Um, let me know in the comments. Just uh, say hi. So I can see if you're here live or hashtag replay if you're watching the replay. Also, if uh, you feel intuition to tag somebody on this video or share it with somebody, I'd really appreciate that. It really does help these videos be found and be seen by more people. So I really thank you for that. Um, yeah, if you can and if you feel guided. So uh, today's chapter is on attitude and it starts off with what's right. That's right. It's right. He's right. She's right. Those words are echoed every day by millions of people. Once we decide we are right, an abundance of energy goes into offending our rightness. However, if we look at the situation objectively, we will quickly become aware that we are never right. Our way may be a good way. It can be a valid way. It might even be a better way, but it will never be the right way. The minute you believe your way is the right way, all other things will be wrong. That attitude will quickly paralyze progress and shut down the creative juices. Permit me to make a suggestion. The next time you hear yourself saying, that's right, or I'm right, correct yourself immediately by repeating this. That is a good way, and I might act on it. However, there is a better way, and I will look for it. The first telephones were a good way, a better way, even a great way to communicate. However, history has proven that the first telephones were certainly not the best way to communicate. By comparison with today's telephone systems, they were actually terrible. This basic concept holds true with everything we do, from healthcare to air travel. Think of your own business or industry and the role you play in it. You could very easily be caught in the trap of doing your job the same way because you believe it is the right way. It may be very effective, but there is always a better way. One small adjustment could improve your productivity 100%. Your way may be effective, it may be valid, but it's never the right way. There is a better way, find it. This one's really good, isn't it? And I guarantee that you too could really study this video and think of the ways in which you could find the better ways in what you're currently doing. In my Lead the Field coaching program, we actually have a lesson based around this, around greener pastures, finding the opportunity, developing the opportunity, looking for ways to improve what you are presently doing. And it's right in front of you right now. So let's have a quick look and break this down just a little bit further for you and give you some practical tips and ways in which you can think about applying this lesson. So if we go back to the beginning, he says, our way may be a good way, it can be a valid way. It might even be a better way, but it will never be the right way. The minute you believe your way is right, is the right way, all other ways will be wrong. And remember what he said earlier, the second that you think that your way is the right way, then there's so much energy invested in defending your opinion or defending your stance on that. Whereas that energy could really be moved into, yes, this is the way we're doing it right now. This is the effective way we're doing it right now, but let's always stay open to finding a better way, a more effective way. Stay open for that change and transformation. It's not easily done because people don't love change and transformation, even when it's for their greater good, but that really makes for a far more creative, enriched, happy, healthy way to live, to grow your business and to enjoy your work. It really does. So let's go down here now and think about your own business or industry and the role you play in it. So take out a sheet of paper, think about your business, the role that you play in it, the industry. Think about some of the key activities 
that you undertake on a day to day basis. Think of some of the fundamental products and services that your business or industry deliver or that through your role you deliver. And think about how you could find a better way, how and how you could do it in a better way. And just write down your ideas. You may have no good ideas at that very moment, but then you might come across one idea that changes everything. One idea that allows you to improve what you do by 100%. Not only can that really improve how you help other people, but I promise you it'll most likely dramatically improve the bottom line of your business and your life as well. One small adjustment could prove could improve your productivity by 100%. You know, this is such a great lesson and it's it's so important because when we think about high performance, when we think about peak performance and you really think about improving what you do, it's small mindset, emotional and habit changes done daily that compound over time to produce better results. All of my programs, everything that I help you with, you will have even heard me say, watch this video over and over again. The repetition of the lessons, the repetition of the the tools, the habits, the mindset tips that I give you, it leads to a shift in results. Not necessarily then and there, but we're creating from the inside out. So as I help you and teach you how to really take control from within, how to really master your mind, create the new paradigms, and really embed those deep in every cell of your being, then your behavior starts to change, your vibration starts to transform, and you start to create the results that you want. You start to attract the results that you want. I'm gonna leave you with a couple of quotes to finish this lesson off. This one is from Earl Nightingale. Our attitude towards others determines their attitude towards us. Bob Proctor would always say, put your best out. It doesn't matter what anybody else is doing. It matters what you're doing. It matters how you do it. It matters your attitude matters. That's what you want to focus on. Put your best out. Now, always know that there is another level. So your best can get better. I'm always looking for a way to improve myself. Always. I'm always thinking about ways we can improve the company improve our clients, improve our programs, improve how we provide that customer service and coaching support. I'm always putting out my best every day, but I'm always staying open to doing it better and improving. And you want to too. You'll lead your field very quickly when you do, you'll become very difficult to replace and your stock goes up. That's the law of compensation. You want to earn more money? Study this, book a program, get into this, study it, make it a part of you. And I guarantee you just, you're untouchable, you're unstoppable. This one from Albert Einstein. No amount of experimentation can ever prove me right. A single experiment can prove me wrong. Mahanta Gandhi. Honest disagreement is often a good sign of progress. So it's okay. It's actually a great idea sometimes to throw out the old model and build an entirely new one. If you want to jump to a new S curve of performance, personally and professionally, sometimes that's the best way to do it. So in order to do that, you've got to learn how to build that new model. And if you want help with that, just go to my website, have a look under the programs tab there and book a program with me and I'll teach you how to build a new model that makes the old model obsolete so you too can really begin to create results at your next level as well. So I hope that you have enjoyed today's reading. Please leave a comment below with what you got out of this. Please tag a friend on this video, share it with somebody. I really appreciate that. It really does help um, more people benefit from Bob's wisdom in this. Um, and you just never know that it could be today could be the day that you start a conversation with someone that really matters and changes the course of their life and that putting out that kind of good into the world well it must come back because honey that is exactly how it works the law of cause and effect so I'm going to leave you with that today always look for the better way um, with your work personally and professionally there's no such thing as a right way there is a way that you are doing it right now but there is always a better, more effective way. And if you stay open to it, I promise you'll find it and you'll keep finding it forever and ever. So I hope that you really enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Karen Brook, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye.